Okay, for the next stage, we're going to retrieve the current logged in user's information. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to put that um, information on the home screen. But this is a routine that will be called from a lot of different places within the um, blog module. So I want to get it done as early as possible. What we basically want to do is to retrieve the um, user display name, or handle, whatever you want to call it, of the current logged in person. So we're going to create a new server action. We're going to call that get user. There's no password that needs to be passed because we'll get everything we need from the security provider. So let's just set our database connection and then let's add the security provider. And what we're going to do is use that admin security that we created earlier and that will provide what we want. So the next stage will be a simple database query. And what we want to do is to get the details of the current user. And we get that by reference to the identity field of the security provider. So it said we'll, we'll get the ID and we'll get the, no, we don't need the username because that's actually their email address. We want a display name. And the conditions will be that the user ID is equal to, and then if we look at the data bindings, we can see that the security provider returns the identity of the current logged in user. If there's nobody logged in, it simply return, returns nothing. Therefore, the uh, no details would be retrieved. Let's save that. That's basically our um, get the user details data query done. So all we've got to do now is pop over to our app connect end, server connect, call that con get user and that server action will act on get user. We're going to let it load automatically because we want it to uh, find that user details automatically if they are available of course. And then the next one is that we want to add another row. We'll just drag that down there or that up there, I should say. And I'm just going to drop a column and a another title. We'll have this nice and big. <coughs> what we're going to do here is we're going to retrieve the details from that query, which we have marked as output. So let's get rid of that text. And what we want is the user display name. Let's save that. We'll not say anything on the screen because I'm in live mode at the moment. Um, there we are. If we just switch off the live mode, because obviously we're not logged in within WAPLESS, so uh, it's not going to display it. Uh, so let's save that. Right, let's see what happens. There we are. I'd already logged in earlier, and you can see now that it adds the handle for me as the logged in user underneath that. And that's going to be a really useful feature to be able to... Uh, pull that for all of the different entries where people will make comments and make blogs etc um, and that's the end of that this module basically thank you